Brooke Schneider, it's so nice of you to join me this morning uh, for a look at Southern Modern. There's a connection between the section of this show, especially the section on labor, and all of what you do. Your work is very labor intensive. Let me just ask you a little bit about that, about, about kind of what are your inspirations for your work and are there works in this section of the exhibition that in some way remind you of your own story? I grew up kind of seeing both sides of that lifestyle. I have family who lives, um, you know, very rurally, lives on a farm, and then I have family who um, actually worked in the mills. So I'm really interested in labor and I'm interested in collective and cultural memory and I'm interested in kind of this idea that you know my perspective of the South isn't necessarily the perspective of everyone who's lived there and my understanding of the South is you know based on my familial history and my family heritage um, and my understanding of labor and so in my work I'm really interested in how um, you know, we decide what's memorialized and what we remember, and I'm interested in materials and how materials end up um, carrying history and collecting histories, um, and also how we assign meaning to materials. It's one of the things that I think is really interesting about this exhibition, that especially this section of the exhibition, which really does focus on labor. It focuses on, on farming, the production of materials, and I, I love that you're talking about materials because um, for me, when I look at your work, when it, whether it's indigo stained tea bags or just clay that is drawn from the earth, there is this kind of poetic dimension. So in my work, the final piece is less important than actually the labor that's involved in doing it. So doing those repetitive acts of labor, um, and I always say that my work doesn't really feel complete unless I physically feel you know, uncomfortable by the labor that I'm doing. So I think that's reflected in um, a lot of the, the themes that also we see in this show. I love that we're standing in front of this Romero Bearden. It's called Cotton Workers. And this is really from a memory that he had growing up in Mecklenburg, North Carolina. And you can see, you know, you can see the lives of, you can get a sense of the lives of the people who work there. There's a quality of, there's a sort of a bleak quality to it. You know, that this is the only life they'll ever know. This is the life that will be passed along from one generation to the next generation. What do you say, as, as an artist, you've, you've traveled widely, you've studied elsewhere, but you're back, you're in the South. What would you say, or how do you sort of relate to that idea of artists coming to the South, or living in the South, or staying in the South? I lived in LA for a while, and I came back to the South and moved to Nashville. And, you know, I've always made my work about the South and about my family and about land as a storehouse for memory. But there's something about the South that really speaks to me. I feel like I'm really tied to land, and I really love the landscape, and I really love um, just kind of like the visual reminders about what I'm making my work about. I think when I go back to Greenville and I look around and I always say, you know, my favorite view of Greenville is when I can just look out and I just see the peppering of smokestacks, you know, with the mountains behind it. I'm like, it's a very visual reminder for me, you know, about what I'm making work about. When you talk about you want the labor that you do in making art to get to the point where it's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And that idea that the discomfort that you feel if you're, if you're growing a garden or, or growing, you know, raising plants in a farm and bending over, and, you know, there's that sense of, you know, I'm taking from that, the feeling that you need to, to ache a little bit. You need to feel pain a little bit, which I think is really powerful. And, and it comes across in the work itself.